Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Family Home Kitchen. Hello food lovers, today you are in for a treat. We're preparing a delicious dish of nachos with ground beef and cheese. It's a simple yet flavorful recipe that calls for some common ingredients. Half a kilogram of ground beef, a chopped onion, a couple of crushed garlic cloves, a sprinkle of cumin and paprika, salt and pepper to your liking, a generous cup of shredded cheese, a splash of hot sauce, and half a cup of chopped tomatoes. Plus, don't forget the star of the show, the nachos chips. So gather your ingredients and join us as we dive into this flavorful journey. First, heat a pan over medium heat, add the chopped onion and crushed garlic. Let these two sizzle together, stirring occasionally until they become soft and transparent. You'll start to notice the aromas wafting through your kitchen. Now, it's time for the star of the show, the ground beef. Toss it into the pan and continue stirring. You want all those flavors to mingle together and the beef to cook thoroughly until it's completely crumbled. Now let's spice things up a bit. Sprinkle in some cumin and paprika and season with salt and pepper to your liking. Stir everything together, making sure the spices are evenly distributed. This is where the magic happens as the spices start to coat the beef, transforming it into a fragrant and flavorful masterpiece. Finally, add in the hot sauce and chopped tomatoes and let it cook for another five minutes. Now that's a pan full of flavor. Now, on to the star of the show, the nachos. With your ground beef sizzling and full of flavor, it's time to bring the nachos into the mix. Start by spreading a layer of crispy nacho chips evenly across a wide oven tray. This will form the base of your nacho masterpiece. Next, spoon a generous layer of your seasoned ground beef onto the nachos. Ensure you cover the chips evenly so each one carries the delicious taste. Now it's time for some heat. Drizzle your favorite hot sauce across the beef. Remember, the amount of spice is entirely up to you. Following the heat, we add some coolness with freshly chopped tomatoes. Sprinkle these across the hot sauce and beef, adding a fresh twist to the taste. Then comes the crowning glory, a liberal dusting of shredded cheese. This will melt into a glorious blanket that binds all the flavors together. Once you've completed this layer, it's time to repeat. More nachos, more beef, more hot sauce, more tomatoes, and yes, more cheese. Continue this process until you've used up all your ingredients. And there you have it, a mountain of nachos layered with flavor ready for the heat of the oven. With that, your nachos are ready for the oven. Now, it's time to get these nachos nice and crispy. Let's kick things off by preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. While the oven is heating, arrange your nachos in a wide oven dish. Next, layer the ground beef and shredded cheese over the nachos. Don't be shy, layer it up until you've used all your ingredients. Once that's done, pop the dish into the oven and bake for 10 to 15 minutes. But keep an eye on it. You're looking for the cheese to have melted into a scrumptious gooey layer and for the nachos to have turned a touch golden brown. When it's done, take out your masterpiece and let it cool for a moment. Serve it hot and complement it with hot sauce or ketchup for an extra kick. And there you have it, a delicious dish of nachos with ground beef and cheese, perfect for any occasion. Before we end, let's talk about cheese alternatives. While shredded cheese is a classic choice for nachos, there are several other types of cheese that can add unique flavor and texture to your dish. Cheddar cheese, for instance, is a popular choice with its rich flavor and easy melting ability. Then there's Monterey Jack, another fantastic option. Its mild, enjoyable taste and ideal melting property make it a favorite among many. White queso is another alternative you can consider. Its gentle, distinctive flavor and easy melt quality make it a great addition to your nacho sauce. And if you're looking for a unique smoky flavor, smoked Monterey Jack cheese is the way to go. It brings a distinct flavor and adds a smoky character to the sauce. So feel free to experiment with different cheeses to find your perfect nacho sauce. Happy cooking. If you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button for all new updates in the world of cooking.